I think the important thing is they went out there to win a tournament. They won it. They were part of um, a winning team. And there's nothing like, you know, when you, you turn up at places like you do at Dallas and, and you set out, you know what's in front of you. As I said to him, you know, if you win together today, it's something that sticks in your memory because once you get into senior football, your actual chances of winning things, actually winning trophies at any level, they diminish the older you get unless you play for one of the big teams. So um, we pointed that out and, you know, it's nice to be part of winning something. We had a good blend. I mean, the boys that have been playing in the development squad, you know, it was made up of quite a lot of them, the team, and they did great. And uh, they brought a bit of experience and also a bit of knowledge of, of winning because they took part in the team that uh, won the final last year. It's a journey that started over 18 months ago with Kip, you know, winning the league with the under 18s. And um, the addition of having the third years with my under 18 squad, I felt we had a, a good squad that could go far into the competition. We came to a real tough group, then a tough semi-final with Fluminense, who were a good side, and we came out the right side of penalties. And I watched uh, the Japanese side, and I thought, God, they're a good side. And um, it was the first time I thought, oh, we could have our, have our hands full, but if I'm honest, we were. We got in their face and we pressed high, and then we passed the ball really well. And I don't think they could cope with playing at the tempo that we played at. Well, they put United out in the group stage, and then they beat Alberg, I think it was 4-0 in the semi-final, and that's the day that I watched them. And um, they played at a real high tempo, you know, running behind, and, and you know, we're, we're very effective how they played. And I was surprised really in the final because I thought they'd come in and having gone into extra time, I thought they'd get in our face. But they made the mistake of playing a slow tempo football and um, our lads showed how fit and strong they were by, you know, we played at a real high tempo. I mean, it's a great competition. You know, it, it produces challenges, uh, different teams from, from all around the world. As you said, two Brazilian teams, an American team, German team, Japanese team, so it's real global. And uh, the amount of games that you have to play, to play five games in eight days, of which four were 90 minutes and another one had extra time. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a fantastic competition.